people come here to this family-owned Austin restaurant for good food and a good time. But last Sunday, an incident involving a group of dissatisfied customers turned ugly. As my dad showed me his hand where he was injured and his face, I was like, did this really happen to you? Like, I can't believe that this happened to you at your restaurant. Checo's Mexican restaurant and bar owner, Sergio Alberto Vasquez, says on April 28th, a group of two women and one man complained about the food they had been served after almost already clearing their dishes and refused to pay their tab. Vasquez says he told them that it was no big deal and he would eat the cost, but asked them to please leave his establishment and never come back. That's when things went left quickly. They don't like that I'm telling to leave. And uh, all that I did, I just pick up some uh, margarita cups and take it to the bar. And my way to the bar, they started breaking all my uh, dishes. Surveillance video shows the group getting up from the booth, heading for the door, but not before throwing and breaking those plates. Vasquez says he followed them out and pulled out his phone to try to take a picture of the license plate of the car they got into, but that only infuriated them more. He says it was then that the male got out of the car and started hitting Vasquez. No question, he just hit me in the face. And uh, uh, I just turned around and I see my nose was bleeding. After that, uh, uh, I turned around and I'm trying to hold my phone and try to take the picture again. And uh, he just knock my phone down from my hands and uh, and throw me to the floor. Vasquez says customers came out to help him and he was able to get back on his feet, but he says he was thrown to the ground again by one of the females. Vasquez said he had a bloody nose and injured finger. His daughter, Maria Guadalupe Vasquez, says after seeing what happened to her elderly father, she wanted to get the word out immediately and posted a picture of the alleged assailants on social media, despite her father's hesitation. I'm just very distraught. I wonder and I feel for their parents, for their grandparents. I don't, if this is how they treat other people, how would they treat their own family, you know? The Austin Police Department incident database shows an injury to elderly person happened at Checos last Sunday. Since then, the family says the community has really showed up for them and wants to see justice. They want to, to these uh, people be punished because uh, they said it's not right they come and do this to your own business. Police were called here, but the group left before they arrived. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.